Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about NumPy in Python. So, NumPy is a library. We all know what is library. Library is a collection of packages. Yes, library is a collection of packages. What is package? Package is nothing but collection of modules. Yes, what is module? Module is a collection of classes, variables and functions. Okay. So, indirectly, library is a collection of classes, variables and functions. Okay. So, library is a collection of packages. Package is a collection of modules. Module is nothing but collection of classes, variables and functions. All these are predefined classes, predefined variables and predefined functions. Okay. Now, NumPy is a Python library used for working with arrays. Okay. So, if you want to work with arrays, then you need to use NumPy library. Okay. So, it is also has functions working in domain of linear algebra and also Fourier transform and matrices. Okay. So, you can work of linear algebra and mathematical functions also by using NumPy. Okay. So, NumPy is a collection of two libraries. Okay. So, before NumPy, there are two libraries uh, have those are numerical library as well as num array library. Okay. So, num array library and numerical library. Numerical library is used to perform numerical operations. Num array library is used to perform array operations. So, NumPy is a combination of numerical as well as num array library. So, it will perform mathematical operations as well as array operations. Okay. Next, NumPy was created in 2005 by Travis Oliphant. Okay. So, NumPy was created in 2005 by Travis Oliphant. It is an open source project so you can use it freely. Okay. So, NumPy stands for numerical python. Okay. Next, use of NumPy. What is the use of NumPy? So, in python we have list. Okay. So, already we have list that serves the of purpose of arrays but they are slow to process. So, what is array? Array is a collection of elements, right? Collection of similar data elements. We have list, tuple, set. Yes, we have list, tuple, set in Python. So, list, tuple, set, all these are used to store collection of elements. But the difference between arrays and list is so, list is used to store heterogeneous collection of elements. So, it will also store homogeneous elements also. But, array is used to store only homogeneous elements. Yes, homogeneous collection of elements. These collection of elements are stored in continuous memory location in array. Whereas, in list, the memory elements are, the elements are stored in different memory locations. So, if you store like this l is equals to 1 2 3 so this is one list right okay so one is stored in some memory location two is stored in another memory location and three is stored in some other memory location whereas in array the elements are stored in continuous memory location so the list are slow to process because elements are stored in different memory locations okay numpy aims to provide an array object that is 50 times faster than traditional python list so python arrays are very faster than list okay the array object in numpy is called nd array okay so, array object, array element in NumPy is known as ND array. Normally, arrays are, uh, arrays are called as ND arrays. Okay. It provides a lot of supporting functions and makes working with ND array very easy. So, NumPy provides 
many number of functions okay so those functions are used to work with arrays very easily okay next arrays are very frequently used in data science okay so uh, here uh, our paper is python for data science okay so here we are using python to analyze the data to store the data to extract the data so arrays are also used in data science where speed and resources are very important okay so this is the use of numpy numerical python okay so next first if you want to use arrays if you want to work with arrays then you need to install numpy okay so python contains one inbuilt uh, sorry python contains one library so first you need to in install that uh, library okay so if you want to install python uh, library that is numpy you have if you have python and pip already okay installed on system okay if you have python and pip already installed on a system the installation of numpy is very easy okay so first you need to open command prompt okay so after opening command prompt then you need to write pip install numpy okay very simple pip install numpy okay so pip install numpy then it will uh, return successfully installed numpy okay so very easy installation of numpy first you need to install numpy in command prompt okay so if you have python and pip okay so then it will work pip install numpy okay next so after after installing numpy then you need to open python um, python editor next once numpy is installed import it to the application by adding import keyword okay so if you want to perform mathematical operations then we need to import math module right so if you want to perform array operations or creating array then you need to import numpy library okay so that's why import numpy import numpy next for creating array the syntax is array name okay array name is equals to numpy dot numpy dot array of elements okay so here arr is a array name numpy is a library dot array so here array is a function array function is used to create array so in the array the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 so here memory is allocated and elements are stored yes in c first we allocate memory for the array and then we can insert the elements right but in python it allows dynamic memory allocation whenever uh, you are inserting whenever you are declaring the uh, elements then only the elements are stored in the memory location okay so declaration and initializations are done at the same time in python okay so there is no separate declaration in python okay so here array name is equals to numpy dot array of one two three four five okay arr is array name numpy is a library so in numpy there is a one function that is array that is used to create arrays okay array of one two three four five okay for suppose if you want to perform a square root of uh, 16 okay so then we need to use math dot square root of 16 because square root is an inbuilt function in math module so in the same scenario array is an inbuilt function in numpy so that's why numpy dot array name of values next i want to print the elements in array print arr so the array elements will be print okay so in this way we can create array okay so next one is numpy as np so as means alias numpy uh, is usually imported under the numpy np alias so most of the programmers use numpy as np okay alias in python alias are alternative names for referring to the same thing okay see this import numpy as np 
ARR is equals to so here we use alternative name numpy name is np np dot array of 1 2 3 4 5 next i am printing array elements okay so here these two are same things but we are renaming numpy as np okay next create a numpy nd array object so array which contains object is known as nd array right so numpy is used to work with arrays the array object in numpy is called nd array the array object in numpy is known as nd array normally array is term uh, denoted and known as nd array so we can create a numpy nd array object by using array function so array function is used to create arrays array elements okay so same thing import numpy as np arr is equals to np dot array of 1 2 3 4 5 next i am printing array okay so if you want to know the type of data type of uh, this you can uh, give print type of arr type of arr type function is used to know the data type of uh, array so here array is nd array and it consists 1 2 3 4 5 elements okay if you want to know the data type so just print a dot d type then it will print int okay so all these attributes i will discuss in further classes okay so here what is the numpy and how to install numpy what is the use of numpy and how to import numpy so create one uh, one dimensional array okay so this is clear now yes so normally nd array is nothing but array object in numpy is known as nd array so this is the simple examples so in the next class i will discuss about the dimensions one dimension two dimension three dimensions multi dimensions okay so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you